Uh, new at five, daycare employees are opening up about disturbing allegations of abuse. They are the ones who actually called authorities after noticing two injuries or injuries on two little girls. Their stepmother now faces charges. Eyewitness News reporter Demond Fernandez is live with the story. Demond. Well, our investigators say the arrested mom claims the reason she beat those children is because she wanted the best for them, not to abuse them. But CPS workers back here and some eyewitnesses say those whippings went way too far. The woman you see in this mugshot is Onika Asonye. She's the mother police arrested on Friday, accused of viciously beating her adopted three-year-old and four-year-old little girls at their home in southwest Houston. Neither Sonia's attorney nor family would comment about the arrest at the criminal courthouse today, but workers here at Hershey's Angels Daycare are speaking out. Her eye was real dark and it was closed. Hershey Robinson is a caregiver who says she called Child Protective Services after noticing Sonia's four-year-old daughter had a severe black eye that was swollen shut last month. She said that her mother had done it. Investigators interviewed and took custody of the children. Prosecutors say a doctor found both little girls had numerous injuries in various stages of healing. At least one child had a large bump on her forehead and one of her eyes was swollen shut. On both children, they observed to have multiple injuries all over their bodies and scars. Investigators say Asonia admitted she caused some of the children's bruises and scars by flogging or hitting them with a stick. It's shocking, but unfortunately it's common also. I mean, children love their parents. And even if it's the ones that's hurting them. A song is now facing two felony charges of injury to a child. And right now, both those children are in CPS custody in a foster home. Tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, we hear from some of the arrested woman's neighbors and friends as they speak out about these allegations. At CPS headquarters, Demond Fernandez, 13 Eyewitness News.